everyone. I want to share with you for today's daily deal. I think we're on daily deal day 12, I think. Um, well, I have a wonderful surprise here for you guys. Today's daily deal is going to be awesome. That's all I do know is I'm going to be spoiling you guys here today. Um, I came across these really cool, the Golden Books Encyclopedia, um, the Golden Books, uh, the Dictionary, ABC, obviously, you know, the dictionary for like the ABCs. And then I found the Golden Book um, of the Atlases. So these are the books I have. I have 20 of these um, kits that I put together for you guys. These are the books that you get to choose from. Either you could pick the Golden Book Encyclopedia or the Golden Book Dictionary, the Golden Book um, Atlas. Um, so there will be a drop down menu on that, that listing and you can choose which one you want. Um, there's different volumes, so I figured I'm gonna quickly go through them really quick. Um, these books will be included in um, a paper pack that I put together. Um, it's more like, um, I would say this would be considered like a traveler's um, world type of junk journal kit. Um, I can call it a kit because it pretty much has everything you need obviously minus the glue and uh, your hard work, <laughs> right? So um, let me go through the books really quick. Um, I'm not gonna do it by number. I'm just gonna go by the three choices you could choose from. Like I said, the encyclopedia, the dictionary, or the atlas. But I was gonna quickly show you um, what kind of pictures and stuff you get in them. They're really cool. Golden Book came out with these books. Um, let me get the year um, to give you guys an idea. Um, the, the pages are a little bit thicker than the normal pages you get. They're like in between um, uh, cardstock and um, just, it's just really good thick papers uh, that you can use and the pictures are just gorgeous. I'm gonna quickly go through them here in a minute. Uh, looks like this is a 1960, um, this one here. The pages, I mean, I was gonna call, you know, when I do my books, I call them rippers, like these are my ripper books. I was gonna keep these originally for ripping. Um, for beautiful pages into kits and stuff, but I figured at least this kit you get a whole book of choices of different colored papers that you could choose your own pages instead of me choosing them for you. Um, let me quickly see what year this is and then I'll go on and kind of give you guys an idea um, of what um, looks like the 50s and the 60s is what I got going on here. Um, this one's the 60s as well. So let me quickly just show you one of them. I threw one up here. This one here is the Encyclopedia Book 8. Um, I'm trying to see what it's about. Everyone has a certain theme and style. Let me show you the inside. In case you want to use the book, it's a great hardback book. Beautiful, colorful in the front. Um, I can kind of zoom in to show you. It's like it, it looks like it's like on a wicker fabric, but it's not. It's slightly glossy, if you could kind of see. Um, and the back is equally gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? I'm just like, and here's the inside. It has like the, um, some kind of cone. Uh, here's the inside. Look how beautiful that paper is. And if you think that's beautiful, just wait to see what's inside. I'm gonna quickly flip through this first one. The pages are just gorgeous. I mean, the illustrations are gorgeous. And look at that cool tie knots. That'd be great for nautical. Um, it's just about around the world. It's Golden Books uh, did an amazing uh, like encyclopedia, like you said, um, the Atlas and the Dictionary, um, that in the most beautiful colors. I know some have animals, some have birds. Um, it's hard to give you guys the um, option to pick which book, um, but like at least you could pick, like I said, the encyclopedia or the dictionary. I'm gonna show you what it's like in each. Um, some of the maps on these are just gorgeous. I mean, perfect book for ripping gorgeous pages. That's, I do know, um, it's just beautiful. I mean, kind of give you guys a close up here. It's just, gosh, oh, that's cool. It's like tribal. Um, and the books measure, I'll give you the measurements of the books here in a minute. Um, so here's that one. Oh, shit. Um, the books measure, cool things, this table, my husband finally made it uh, taller for me. This is my original sewing table, 10 inch by 
seven and a half inch and the thickness of them are just a little bit over a half inch thickness. Um, here's the dictionary ones. Looks like I have A and C, L and P, P and S, and S and Z. And the dictionary ones are just as gorgeous. Here's the inside. Um, these might be a little different. See the A, B, C, D, look at the inside. So I got a little glare. Um, again, just beautiful pages. The coloring is beautiful. And they got that cool, um, like, aged colors, of brown colors, edgings. Look at these boats. Oh my gosh. I know someone who would love those boats. The name starts with a J. <laughs> oh, cool birds. I'm flipping through really quick. Sorry. It looks like we have cars. Um, ABC is pretty much, you know, of things around the world, I guess. Um, just a lot of cool pages. So you kind of guys got the idea. And then the atlases are just equally beautiful. I mean, here's the inside. I'm trying to get this here. Oops, sorry. There's the back. This one looks like this one is of Europe. Sorry, guys. This is going to have pictures from around the world. People, those would be great cutouts, wouldn't they? The maps, I know, are just gorgeous in here as well. I don't think you guys can see it on your camera, but if I kind of get a little closer, you can see how it's got the brown rimmed on all the pages. Some maps. They have a lot of maps in there. So I figured, I don't know if I want to call this travelers, but um, around the world kit. Does that make sense? I mean, I guess you could use them for travelers, pages, for other junk journals. Um, this one is definitely an atlas type, you know, book with awesome maps, like I said, and around the world type of things. Um, a lot of options on what you want to use them for. I mean, it's just, they're beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. I mean, let me grab another one of these really quick. This one here looks like Czechoslovakia. Um, that's where my family's from, Czech and Slovak. Look at that. You guys can see those. All right, I think I kind of got the point. You get a complete book. Um, the cool thing is I'm in my cutting room, so I am able to um, get my scale really quick, and I could tell you what one kit would, you know, as far as weight. Um, so you guys can kind of have an idea for, especially the international, um, I have a feeling it's going to be around a pound. Um, look at there. Isn't that cute? The pages, the colors are just gorgeous. I, I would like to honestly keep them all just to rip them off, but then I'm thinking, well, you guys pick and choose what you want. And you can use the book cover, uh, for another book. Um, I mean, it's a win-win. So might as well, while I'm at it. Let me move these over. I actually can use these guys for a little bit of height. So let me stack them a little bit here. And I can put this up here. And then I'll grab my handy dandy scale really quick because I'm gonna weigh, you know, at least one for you guys before I go. Um, just to give you guys a heads up, each kit is gonna be only $19. That's why it's the daily deal is I'm taking it to a great deal. Usually you guys know my junk journal kits around $25.50. Um, I'm just gonna today is it's $19. So you get to choose one of the books of your choice. And in it is these really cute packs. Um, when you get your kit, it will be in those who's got the traveler's junk journal kit for me before will see you get that really large envelope which is awesome because I've seen some of you guys use this paper, it's like a waxy paper for like your journals, cover a journal or use it for tags or whatever. So that is gonna be what's covering it. It's gonna be a flat kit. Um, I did, uh, those who've seen one of my happy mails with uh, uh, just recently, she had altered like, um, like paper clips. I hope I said it right. And so each one of them, I thought I'd get creative and handy dandy, which you guys know. Uh, I usually a uh, paper clip in a piece of two and a half inch, two and a half inch uh, square of fabric. And uh, I, I do it because I don't want that paper clip to have an indentation onto whatever paper I give you. So, and then I did that little, you know, cute little thing at the top. So <laughs> I know it's not that crafty, but 
crafty enough, but you could probably use it in one of your kits, right? Thank you guys for the suggestions. And there is that square you can use for a tab kind of thing. So it works perfectly. Um, you might see some things here that is uh, just like the uh, Travelers, but there's different things in here I put in this one. So you will be getting five vintage Travelers postcards. I know that there are some in here. So I'll go through those of, you know here in a bit, but for you have five postcards, which that is like a steal in itself. And they're really cool vintage ones. I even have some, um, you'll see. <laughs> I'll let you guys see it yourself. Um, you'll be getting two of these stamp papers here where they have like the stamps um, on these travel pages. Really cool. Oops, some of them have two, some you know are double sided. Um, you will be getting, let me move this aside so I don't lose it. I want to put this pack together because they're all packed and ready to go today. So um, I'll be shipping out today. Um, I got a, a time card. Here is like a, look at this cool Vegas postcard. Totally cool. I thought someone could probably cut these out because they're like a thickness in them that where you can maybe use them for in your pockets or something. It just was really cool. I figured it'd be great to cut like individually. Just my thought. You get the full size map like you did the other travelers. Um, this one here is of Chicago. It look cool there. Some really cool things you could cut out and make or even cover or line the inside of a junk journal. Look at that one. You guys can see the colors. Each one's different. Each one's a different location. Um, I think this one's from the 70s. Yeah, 1970 something. And then you'll get an atlas, like a large map paper here. Some of them have writing on the back. Some are double-sided on the maps. Ledger paper, I had some leftover. And then of course I put a full size piece of braille in there again. Uh, a lot of you guys liked it, so I thought, what the hey, I might as well just throw it in there. So let me put this back together nice and neat for the person who's gonna get this today. Um, you guys know me, I like it just like so. <laughs> I try, I like the presentation when you guys open up your kit to be something that is beautiful, you know. It matters to me, and I'm sure it matters to you guys. So that's that. And then in pack number one is, I have each person will be getting five, sorry, I think it's four vintage stamps that are travel themed. Make this really quick, because I'm sure you guys just wanna see it really quick and then get it while you can. I don't wanna do this without ripping this out. Okay, so this pack has, let's see here. That stamp, looks like we have four stamps, I think. So I just made a variety of stamps in each. That one's the same, but they're really cool vintage stamps, different sizes. Each kit will get four. Each kit will get uh, two train tickets, uh, Czechoslovakia. I think you guys seen them before in other kits, but um, they're adorable. And then one of those a cigarette coupon thingies. Um, that are really uh, neat to use like for layering or whatever you're doing. So you get that, um, put this aside, my OCD on perfection. <laughs> I'm trying, I know this video, you won't, don't wanna spend forever seeing me repackage. I'll repackage that later. Um, I did have some leftover uh, playing cards that are the travel theme like you guys seen in the other one. Each kit will get four. Um, Vintage playing cards, you got the, you get the point. So you get four vintage playing cards. And then here, like I said, you get, you get the, there you go, one, two, three, you get four vintage uh, postcards. And this one has this, look at those flowers. Isn't that gorgeous? Flowers in it, those, I think those are peach, uh, oh my gosh, oranges. Uh, this one here has like the ocean shell. And this one here is Hotel Sheraton Brock. I'm not sure. Either way, it's travel. Trying to get the theme there. Um, each kit, and this one is different than I did in the Travelers. Um, let's see here. So you get uh, a napkin, which is like seahorses. What's cool about this napkin is that when you open it up, it's like, wait, you see how many sides have seahorses? It's really cool. So there's so many opportunities to get six seahorses. 
which is awesome. It's like a gold. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like a gold. It's really adorable. I thought it was adorable. I had to put them in there. And then I put in some children's. Here we go. Let's see how many I got here. You guys remember these playing cards as a child? I just thought they were cool. You got stop sign. Here's the back. Look, it's sad. Are we there yet? That's what I think of on a your road trip. And then gloves. Each kit, they're all different. So there's so many themes, buses, and travel, and everything you can think of. Um, two of those uh, library Rolodex cards. We got the, um, we call it library card. I put in there just for the heck of it, two of the uh, playing cards, uh, guest check, and then some of those stickers that you can take off and, you know, make your journals look really cool. That's that pack. Put that aside and I'll repack that up pretty again. Um, and then you also get a junk journal cover that you can use for, um, I'll show you. Put these guys aside, but isn't that cute how I have it all set up? Of course, each person's going to have a pack of uh, buttons, of course, which those are gorgeous. I love the color. I'm going to set it down because I have like a style and theme going on that you can obviously change it up a little bit. Embroidery for lot, embroidery floss. You guys know I love throwing that in there. I love throwing a pack of buttons every time. So here's the junk journal cover that you can choose. Um, it's a 10 and a half by 14 and a half. There's two different sizes. You got like the blue. This is like an upholstery fabric. It's a little bit thick, uh, which is great to work with for cover. So you got that there. Maybe you want to do country barnyard or it's perfect for travel. Either way, it's going to be perfect for travel, I think. Um, or if you want to go for the darker colors in the back, you got like the black, the greens, and the creams. And then what I did was say if you wanted... Um, to uh, this piece here, which was so cute when I seen it. It's like an embroidered on the linen. You could cut it up or use it as it is. I thought it would look good and you could cut the edges um, and maybe at the bottom of a book. I don't know. It, there's just something about it. I loved it and I thought it would look good however you do it. Give a little class to your journal and you can kind of have an idea to see uh, where I was going with when I put this together. The colors, like I said, each pack is different of, of uh, buttons in the kit. Um, you have wooden ones, you have black ones, you have in the same theme. Um, embroidery floss, same thing, it's different colors, but it goes with the theme of what's going on here. So, um, and you also in this one get um, three charms. Um, you get uh, 10 wooden beads, and a swivel, a swivel class from Tim Holtz. Let me get this out really quick. I'm gonna put it right on this fabric. Let's see here, let me move this aside and try not to lose all these charms. Now each pack has different charms. I went like crazy. I went through my charm chest really quick and just had fun with it. All right, so here are these, those wooden beads um, that are so cute. If you guys could see the size of it um, and style, there's 10 of those. Sorry to make the zoom go crazy. Now in this kit, looks like we have, for the charms, we have, it looks like this little bottle that you can put sand or whatever in. If you guys can see it. Uh, the cork does come off the top. I can show you. I think that's a Tim Holtz. Let me know, guys. I don't. I don't know, all my bees are like thrown together. So when I chose the charms, I went with like um, nautical, travel. I think each one has a key. All keys are different in style, but a variety. So this one says dream. Here's the swivel class thing that is from Tim Holtz, where it opens on one end, and then you have like whatever that hooks to on your journal. I think you could do like a tassel off of it or um, charms and stuff like that. And this one has an airplane. Look at that cute airplane. I don't know if you guys could see that one. Anyway, so each one, uh, each kit has four charms and uh, like I said, 10 wooden beads. And you can't beat it. 19 bucks. You guys got pretty much a great variety of things you can work with. 
Um, especially a lot of you guys, I know it's the end of the season. Kids are going back to school or are already back in school. And you have a lot of travel type of photos and things that you want to put together. Um, maybe this might help you out in any way. So, um, and I found some really cool books. And I love the fact that I can let you guys choose what book that you want. And um, they're all equally just as beautiful as the, you know, each, of, each one of them are just beautiful. I mean, I don't think you could go wrong um, with which one you do decide to choose. Um, so I'm just excited for you guys and you have an opportunity and choices here um, for an amazing price. Um, so I guess it just, uh, it's another good daily deal, right? That's what I work towards. So um, I do know that I have, uh, I think you guys are still familiar with those who've been following Julie from Jules Journals. She had made those really cool um, envelopes. I still had some left over, and I figured I might as well gift to the first four who buy one of these kits today. So here's this one. Look at all that work she did. She did a um, Rand McNally, those uh, who know from the children's books. He also did maps. And so these are like Rand McNally uh, maps that Julie uh, from Jules Journals put together. Um, and uh, aren't they cool? She put some like stamps and different things here. Now, don't worry if you weren't the first four to get one of these. They are also available in her shop. Look at that cool shell. And those might be some of her grandma's buttons she used. Um, she did a lot of work on them. So as I was saying, you didn't miss out. So if you wanted to get a pack of these already made and ready to go to save you time, um, I'll put her uh, shop link down below to where you go check out her shop. I know she just added some really cool things in her shop. Um, so I love that one. That's my favorite. Beautiful work, Julie. Beautiful work. Um, so check it out. Get them while you can. There's only 20 available. Um, $19 for a kit. So you guys all have a blessed day and I'll put this together when I get off the camera so I'm not like being crazy obsessive in front of you. Um, you guys have a blessed day and I look forward to seeing you guys Sunday live, which is tomorrow. So you guys have a blessed weekend. Bye.